guys so first off of course I'm gonna be starting off with my brows this is the dip brow pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color chocolate I just love to start with my brows it just kind of frames my face and you know gives me an outline of where I'm going with the makeup look so to clean that up I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Maple still one of my staple concealers one of my favorites so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up underneath my brows with that concealer using a fluffy brush I'm just gonna blend that concealer down a little bit then I'm gonna be using this P Louise base I believe this is number three and I'm gonna blend this all over my lid you know just to give myself a nice clean canvas for my eyeshadows to adhere to I'm gonna be using this Huda Beauty Amethyst Ab Obsessions palette it's so pretty I'm going in with that kind of mauve pinky kind of shade and I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm placing this in my crease so I'm really buffing this shade into that crease next I'm gonna take this deep kind of purple cranberry type of shade and I'm using a really precision brush I just want this pigment to be on the outer corner of my eyes so I'm using this brush to pretty much just place the shadow where I want it so as you guys can see I literally just want it on that outer third of my eye And I'm going to brush a little bit into the crease just to deepen it up a little bit, but not too much. Next, as you can see, I'm not really picking up that much product at this point. I'm using a fluffier brush, literally just to buff out that shadow that I placed there, okay? I want to buff it into that first shade that I placed in my crease and just blend it, blend it, blend it. Now this shade right here is the prettiest like iridescent purple shade ever. To think I had this palette sit on in my drawer so long and I didn't know it was hiding this, this jewel. Absolutely love this color on my lid. After that I'm going to go back in with that dark cranberry color and I'm going to be placing that, you know, just deepening up my outer Third, okay now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna line my eyelids I'm using the Inglot number 77 gel liner which is just like my favorite gel liner ever like if you haven't used it if you haven't tried it definitely give it a try super black super pigmented now for this kind of light pink shade I just think this popped like it just made the look pop putting that in my inner tear duct so now I'm going to be mixing this iconic London Illuminator with the Juvia's Place Foundation in the shade Kampala. I just really wanted a really nice glowy look to my skin being that I'm going in with these cream products. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up on top of my brows. If you guys remember, I did not do that. I usually do this when I'm doing my foundation. Now I'm just of course going to buff everything in with my Beauty Blender. And I just absolutely love the way that mixture looked on my skin. It looks so dewy and just like radiant. Now for concealer, again, I'm going back in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Maple. I did mix in a little bit of Makeup Revolution Concealer in the number 12 just to brighten it up a little bit. Now I'm going to let that concealer sit. And right here, I'm showing you the cream contour and not even contour. Sorry, guys. This is the cream bronzer in the shade chocolate so I'm going to do this of course before I use any of my powder products because it is a cream product I'm letting that concealer sit while I place this quote-unquote bronzer but I used it more like a contour if you guys look at the shade of that cream it's very on the gray side and I don't mind a contour being on that gray side because that's what a contour is it's giving you shadows you know it's giving you that depth okay but I'm I know for a fact that I'm going to be using that cream quote unquote bronzer like a contour it's not a bronzer shade in my eyes not saying I don't like it I actually really really liked it I just wish they named it contour and not bronzer <laughs> all right so here you guys see me blending that out and as you can see it really did give me a really really nice 
contour okay I, I just really don't know what other word to use it gave me a nice contour now i'm gonna set my highlighted areas with the huda beauty kunafa powder okay i you know i like this powder i just feel like you have to put on a really little bit of a dusting so i'm using a very light hand and this brush just to dust that into my skin i like to go around my nose as well areas that really oil up on me that's where you want to focus that powder Now I'm going in with the powder bronzer and this is in the shade Coconati and I'm going to place this wherever I put that other contour, okay? And this is going to give me the warmth that I need, okay? That's what I need from a, br a bronzer. I need it to be warm and beautiful. So this is what's going to give me that. I go ahead and just, you know, clean up that nose real quick. I'm setting my entire face with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and this is just like bomb ever since i bought it i've been using it non-stop now i'm going to be showing you guys the cream blushes by fenty i have two shades the pinky shade that i'm going to use is called strawberry dip and the orange shade that you guys saw is called fuego flush okay so i really actually did like this product it gives you i'm not really a blush person so i feel like this okay boom if you really want a high impact pop in your face type of blush i'm not sure this is it for you because this gives you a really nice subtle gentle bit of blush which i actually really really love okay now i'm using this Huda Beauty Highlight Palette. As you guys can see, I'm using the cream product first and I'm tapping that in with my fingers because I don't want it to mess with any of my powder products. And then I go over top that with the powder highlighter and it just gave me a glowing from within type of look. Like, absolutely here for it, okay? <laughs> Next, I'm going to use my mascara. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Lash Extensions Mascara. And I'm using this Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick. And yeah, I'm going to be lining my lips, adding some gloss by Buxom. And I think that's pretty much going to complete this look. All right, you guys, so this is going to complete this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this gorgeous look. I absolutely love this eye look. That shade on my lids is popping, okay? I can't wait for outside to open back up so that I can recreate this look. I hope you got some tips on how to use some of those Fenty cream products or any cream products that you may have in your makeup drawers. So on that note, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay blessed, you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Go check out my social media, my Instagram, same name as the YouTube. As you guys can see, I did change my YouTube name to my Instagram name, which is crown me, fast it all. Hope you guys like that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces.